coming to you today with a video on how to wear a wig if you're a first time wig wearer. And this is just going to be a few quick tips and tricks of how you can look super fetch for the very first time and put on one of these bad boys. Alright guys, let's get right into it. So my very first tip, and you know, being on YouTube and seeing so many different videos about this wig and this sensational wig, and you see it and it looks super, super, duper snatched, and you're like, oh, I want to get that one right there. Let me go online. Let me go to samsbeauty.com. Let me go to sensational and go grab that wig. Well, hold up. Put it on pause, boo. Put it on pause. I, my very first advice is that your very first wig, never ever worn a wig ever, is don't buy it online. No matter how much you see the wig and you love it, you may not love it when that wig comes to your door. And you know, uh, what I do recommend is that you go into your local beauty supply store and go there when you have a, a lot of time on your hands, a Saturday morning. Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, when you have, you know, free time, whenever you have free time and you're ready to, you know, purchase your face first, then go there, try on, you know, they're going to have to make you purchase a wig cap for you. Sometimes what you see on the mannequin and you love, when you put it on, you might hate it. So, uh, you know, see what works for you. Go in and try on a bunch of different styles. If you want to play around with color, play around with color. Um, yeah, just definitely make sure you first make you buy it in the store so you can try it on and see what fits you. Is make sure you customize your wig. No matter how cute that wig looks on the mannequin as is, a lot of times it's only really going to look, you know, the best on you if you make it your personality. That's cutting kind of little bangs, like I cut little bangs into these. If you've seen my own tear style and tear wig video, um, which I'll have a link to it. Below, and I probably will have one right here on the screen. I combed it out a little bit just to make it, you know, fit to my personality and look big hair. And I did a little bit of on the snip snap to make it, you know, work for me. So just simple things as that. You don't have to be a beautician to know how to do it. A swamp with like a part that has options on where you want to put the part. I would say make sure you your 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 natural hair. So just simple things like that can make your wig really look good and not look like a wig. You might not even know what to wait. Um, another thing is if you're wearing lace from me, some units wait like a, a lace unit, a, a lace front unit, which is really what I would recommend for you starting out, is um a lace front synthetic unit. I say synthetic because when human hair units are very expensive. And when you're just starting out, you're just trying to just play with it, play with the wigs and see what works for you. I wouldn't recommend saying, you know. Make sure you use, for example, a concealer or a face powder so it's a lace color can match your, your skin tone. That's another way to customize it. I definitely recommend that. Or and or, you know, putting out the a little bit of your edges, of course, you know, make sure it looks right with your own whatever texture you you're wearing. For example, I have natural hair, so I can't unless I'm coming on a blow dry, unless I'm on a flat iron or blow dry my hair straight, I can't wear straight use with you know all of my edges out just really look right. So I try to stick to curlier units. Um, another thing, my next recommendation would be to make sure you update your wig. Yes, dollars, but you still want to make sure you don't have your wig for a good enough amount of time. And I recommend washing your wig at least um, every two weeks if you're going to wear it. And when I say wash, I don't mean wash it, scrub it like you scrub your natural hair. I mean to wash it. You know, as in either put, if you have a curly unit, I recommend con using conditioner and see, kind of think of combing it out a little bit because it will hold after a few weeks, you know, after raining for a few weeks, anyways. Um, and using just conditioner and to much synthetic units. But I, since I've started wearing this, I've worn nothing but synthetic. I make sure if I'm wearing my wig, and I say two weeks, that's if you're wearing your wig on a constant basis. Like I wear my wigs seven days a week. Every day I'm going out, I'm pretty much wearing a wig. So for me, if I'm wearing seven days a week and I'm wearing, I need to wash it because I know I'm going to sweat. If I go to the gym, I'm, hot. I'm still rocking my wig, so I'm going to sweat. So I definitely recommend washing your wig on a regular basis. Now, my next tip is uh, since you're washing your wig on a regular basis, some people, you know, they're afraid, they're afraid to do it because they're afraid to go the wigs and the wigs cluster. So my next recommendation is that you get a wig shine spray. And this 
one I have is from Bonacy Fortify Natural. I got this in my local beauty supply store and it's an oil free. It's not actually oil, but it makes your wig have fun. You can probably use just regular oil cheese like you would use on your natural hair. It's not oil. Well, I just started wearing my wig. I did that with actually my wig. So we have a bottle of the of, um, wig cheese and this. This will make your wig, you know, have that luster that you had when you just got it. That way, even when you're washing it, you still can wear it. It helps your wig stay, keep your wig longer. Also, another thing I would recommend, I haven't actually tried this myself, but I think I might actually try it, is um, the knot sealer. People, um, I've seen them use it all right now, using a knot sealer after you, um, it's like a, I just heard you, like, spray it on the inside of your wig, but it's together after you wash it. And that will help you keep your wig longer as well. So I would recommend trying that. I myself would. I'm gonna, you know, pick that up the next time we need a supply store. And um, my next tip is actually just a good tip all around is just make sure you take care of your own hair. Even though you're wearing a wig, you still need to take care of your own hair. And I'm, I'm the best person to say that I'm super lazy when it comes to my own hair. But make sure you're still regularly like, moisturizing your hair, obviously shampooing, you know, conditionering conditioning and deconditioning hair. Make sure you still keep up with your own hair. Because I can think of hair and if you don't wear hair underneath, you're gonna have some problems. That's how I have some janky edges right now. Because for about a month or so, I stopped just, I mean, I would wash my hair, but then I really just, you know, keep up with the moist, my moisturization because, you know, it has had, you know, some breakage. So, and the last thing I would say for me is have fun with it. Don't be so kind. I know sometimes you can be like, uh, you think of a wig, you think of, which I think that's an old state of life. Like, you think of a wig, oh, it looks fake, it looks like that. But honestly, wigs are a fun, cool way for you to just change up your look, you know, every, every now and then. You don't have to be like me that's a, like a full time wig at this point. <laughs> but you can just do it to have a good time. And that's pretty much all my, my beginner tips for you guys. Um, let me know if you have any more questions. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, check out the Twitter page. I'll leave that link below. It's at Shari Spot on Twitter. So, y'all, bye bye.